This I figured out was the easiest way to lose weight. You just put this shirt on and look at me, I'm starving. <laughs> I haven't eaten in 50 years. <laughs> hey everybody, how you doing? As you can tell, little Halloween theme today. What do you think? Listen to this song. Everybody loves it. Dance, Eric. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Anyway, how you doing? You know, uh, Halloween is fun, and uh, it doesn't mean it can't be delicious, though, does it? So today, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make mummified meatballs in a pesto sort of theme. And uh, I hope you guys will uh, enjoy this one. It's fun. And even if you don't like Halloween, who doesn't like meatballs, right? So uh, I, think, I think we're covering all bases today. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off by making a pesto because I wanted the meatballs to have just a greenish hue to them. And um, I'll, I'll stop with the funny Halloween <laughs> stuff. But I can't, <laughs> you will not. You, start, you can't stop you yourself. You stop. can't stop yourself. <laughs> um, so pesto, very simple. Uh, we have basil. Now, um, Use fresh basil. This is from my garden and I froze it. So uh, that's why it looks like that, but it's still a great way to make pesto. So to this, we're gonna add some garlic. And um, I put the recipe, it's always posted right either above or below this live. So don't worry about it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna miss the recipe if uh, you, uh, you stop watching for a second. So now we're gonna put some Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup. And, uh, you know, we're going to use pine nuts. Now, my one son doesn't like pine nuts. He likes basil when I make it with almonds. So I'm using almonds. So just a tip for you guys, if you ever, uh, if you like pesto, but maybe don't like pine nuts, try it with almonds. It's great. It's a little more mild. I love pine nuts. My wife loves pine nuts. But, you know, sometimes you have to compromise, right? So that's what we're doing here. Um, of course, you always want to salt and pepper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here on my blender. And then we're going to add, um, we're going to add olive oil to it. And what you do is you add the olive oil slowly, just like you're making a salad dressing. And eventually it'll come together and you'll know when it comes together because we want it to sort of make a, a thick sauce. So it doesn't have to be super, super thin. It doesn't have to be super thick. So we can just stop that right when we feel like it's a good consistency. Because I'm making it with meatballs, I'm gonna go a little thinner. All right, I'm gonna stop that right there. Okay, so that making pesto is easy, it's delicious, and man, does it add a great flavor to meatballs. So, remember I said we're making mummified meatballs today. So. Um, <laughs> Then the recipe I call for a half a pound of sausage, a half a pound of pork. You can use ground beef if you like. We're going to add about, uh, about a half a cup of the pesto to the meatballs, just like that. Now what's great about the pesto is it really makes the meatballs nice and tender. And um, that's what you want. If I don't add pesto to the meatballs, just a little bit of water is a great tip. Don't be afraid to add a little water to your meatballs. It's, it's, it really works well. Whenever you make meatballs, you need something to bring it together sort of uh, keep the meatball from falling apart. So we're gonna use some Italian breadcrumbs, just about a, about a quarter cup. I, I usually use about a quarter cup per pound of meat. And then you, you kind of go from there. Uh, you can feel the consistency. I want them wet, but I don't want them too gooey. If it's too gooey, you just add a little bit more. Then we add an egg. I also add an egg to every pound. So a quarter cup of breadcrumbs to every pound, an egg to every pound, uh, that's, a, that's a good, gauge. I'm going to put some onion. Uh, I have minced onion and I'm also going to put some red pepper flakes. All right. So we made our pesto. We put it in our meatball mix. Now we will mix the meatballs. Very simple to do. And then we're going to make them. Honestly, you can make them whatever size you want. I made big ones today because you'll see why, uh, but you can make them smaller. It, it really doesn't matter. Now, I would make those meatballs and then in the recipe, I tell you to cook them in a pan, but I air fried them. You can easily, just as 
uh, eat, just as easily air fry them. You just want to get them to about 165 degrees, which doesn't take very long at all. And then, Jess, if you want to show everybody. Oh, yeah. Now, customer service, this is cold. I promise you these are cold. But see, they have like a little greenish hue to them. I don't know if you so guys are going to pick that up. It is very spooky. Ooh. Wait, stay on those meatballs because I, okay. I forgot to get my dough out of the fridge. Oh, right. Yeah, I almost forgot. You think Jesse would remind me? I was waiting but, for that. You know, she would, you, you know. know. It's always my fault, guys. Well, she, uh, I need someone to look after me. I, 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 you, yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> I require a lot. I require a lot. All right, so See, guys. See, I have to shut the door. You left it open. Well, that's uh, the story of my life. I'm always <laughs> leaving doors open. So here comes the fun part, you guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take two meatballs like so, and I have one of these uh, wooden toothpicks. And then I'm gonna take the wooden toothpick and I'm just going to put them right into each other so they, they stay together, that's all. Now, this one I would snip off if I remembered to bring my scissor, but it's okay, it's not gonna bother us. Then I'm gonna put it right about here on my crescent roll pizza. Now, you can use crescent rolls. I got the pizza, that's the, uh, you know, the crescent roll pizza, it's crescent rolls. They have all sorts of stuff in the... It's more the shape. It's refrigerator dough. Yeah. It's, it's really all it is. It doesn't matter which one you yeah. use. For these purposes, I like the pizza dough, but the crescent roll works great too. Mm. So this is a fun way to do this. So what I do is I just take my knife and I cut down right here like this. And then I'm going to cut it into a square. Then to make life easy... We're going to cut little slices like this, and like this, and like this. Now, I, I had some fun. I had my mom here the other day, and we made a bunch of these. It was a lot of fun. My mom is way more artsy than I am. <laughs> she, uh, she's really good at this stuff, so it was fun to make some with her on Sunday when she was here. Translation, he needed his mommy to help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to call on an expert. I mean, that's, th true. that's, that's what happens God here. knows I'm not crafty. Now, Jess, come on in here because I want to okay. show everybody how to do this. Now, I, I figured out this is the easiest way to do these. So what you do is you kind of just tie your shoe, right? Mm. And then tie your shoe like this. <laughs> and then what I do is I wanted to make it so you have some room for a face. Cute. And then again, we're just going to tie the shoe all the way down like this. So mummy. So basically we just mummified our meatball. And then what you can do here is like just open up a couple of pieces like that. But we want it to look like it's a mummy. So this is basically the cloth that a mummy would be in. Now, that's the fun part. Well, everything's fun, right? I mean, making pesto is fun, making meatballs fun. This is all fun. And this is what it looks like when you put it into your air fryer. So I'd put that on the airflow rack. I would then uh, bake it until, because the meatballs are done now. You already cooked your meatballs. You only need about 10 minutes. You want to cook them until they're golden brown. Again, that doesn't take very long at all. And then I'm just going to slip this behind me. And I'm going to show you uh, how it all comes out. So what I want to do is I just want to do a quick review. So we made the pesto. It was very easy. I did it right in a blender. You could use uh, a Roboku or a food processor. Then we made our meatballs with the pesto. It's a classic meatball recipe. We just added a little pesto to turn them green. Then we took our meatballs out and we wrapped them in crescent dough. Now, them, this is what they look like. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> you see, Aww. isn't that cute? So then after the meatballs cook and you have a pyramid and everything i do you're too much all right well wait uh, i'll show cute. you look there's even <gasps> i made one little round oh. one so you don't have to put two together that's funny. You, you can make um like oh little round gosh. single guys that's hilarious or you can put them together like i did um this one we cut in half oh. to make it a little flatter and the rest of these are round now what i did is i just went to the supermarket they have these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> edible I, eyes. Edible eyes. You'd be surprised. Like I, it was very easy to find. 
And then I use um, some black. It, it's just the uh, paste that you use for writing like happy birthday. And then the eyeballs stick to it with that. You just use a tiny little bit so you don't even taste it. Um, it's super fun. And I think, um, then what I did is I put some breadcrumbs down because I thought that'd be fun. It would look like sand. It's really cute. Put the mummies by the uh, pyramid. I feel like grandkids and nieces and nephews and kids would love to do this. Well, you know what's funny though? Um, and I'll post, <laughs> I'll post this picture after the show. Yeah. Uh, my mom and I had a great time doing it. So I'll show you a picture of my mom uh, helping me uh, yeah. figure out an easy way to make the mummy meatballs. Because, you know, it's kind of awkward, you know, trying to figure out how to do it. That was the easiest way to do it. But I do want to say a huge shout out. We have a new uh, sort of friends out there. It's a, it's a Facebook group that uh, maybe you want to join if you like to air fry. It's called Air Fryer Recipes Tips and Talk. Air Fryer Recipes Tips and Talk on Facebook. They hopefully are joining us today. I hope there's some of them out there. Um, I just joined that group um, just about a week ago. They welcomed me with open arms and um, I'm hoping that they joined us today to uh, air fry and have fun with mm -hmm. us. They love to share recipes, obviously. They have lots of tips and lots of talk. Aww. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they're here today. I'm but, sure they are. So Jess, who's out there for a ho Halloween mummified meatball? Everybody is loving, loving <laughs> the holiday feel here. Uh, Joanne Francis, a good recipe for Halloween. Adam Melvin from England said, they are so cool. <laughs> Thanks, Allison Adam. McCall Francis said, so cute. Money. Are the eyeballs edible? Absolutely. Uh, Victoria McElwain said, best holiday, best Halloween recipe ever. <laughs> and I want to give a shout out to Romeo, my nephew, who said oh. to me the other day that Halloween is, is his absolute favorite holiday for many, many reasons. So I'm sure. Well, maybe he'll write a song about it. He's a songwriter. Oh, a rap. Yeah. <laughs> That would be awesome, actually. <laughs> that would be awesome. Kristen McCurdy Taylor said, "Men are so needy." Ah, as we are per needy. Our discussion earlier. Kristen, you know I'm needy. I'm She's very needy. She's always on my side. I know. All women are always <laughs> on. Women stick together like that. Oh my gosh, Terry Provizek said, "Mummy knows best." Oh. Yes, she did. She did. She did. That is hilarious. I mean, no, she didn't, but yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Adam Melvin said his kids would probably love to make this, and I'm it's sure many so kids easy. would. And hey, you know what? If you don't want to make the meatballs, uh, you could buy some frozen meatballs and, and just mummify them with the crescent rolls or the, the refrigerator pizza dough. It's so easy. It's so much fun. It only takes 10 minutes once the meatballs are done. So it's, it's a great thing to like kind of put out last second. And, you know, breadcrumbs, you can put them out over the breadcrumbs. It's kind of fun. I think uh, people get a kick out of it. Yeah, and, and speaking of the air fryer and how easy it was to make them in here, Jewel Ledbetter said she absolutely loves her power air fryer. Be, being handicapped, it's a lifesaver. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I would so love just, to hear what her thoughts are on that and why it's easier for her. Yeah. Um, that, that would be super interesting. And I, I forgot to mention, I'm, today I'm using the PowerXL Air Fryer Pro. So what's great about this is it has multiple racks, so you can make a bunch of meatballs all at once has tons of features. It's, it's uh, fully featured with presets and everything like that. It's very simple to use. And um, all of our air fryers will air fry this recipe. So it doesn't matter which PowerXL air fryer you have, you can make them in all of them. Yes, in fact, Amy Bowers is using her air fryer pro right now. And she said pizza rolls for her granddaughter. That's oh yeah, speaking. yeah. Maybe you could put little eyes on the pizza rolls. <laughs> Luada Green is saying hello from Vancouver. Hey, Vancouver. We have England, Vancouver. Oh, Di Dalton said, thanks for making it fun in the kitchen again, Eric. Oh, man. You know, this, this was a lot of fun, I got to say. Um, I like Halloween. I think it's, it's always fun. You know, my kids are older now, so they don't do the Halloween thing anymore. Aww. So this was kind of fun. I yeah, reminded I me of uh, doing that stuff again. Bobby Barber said, I've had this air fryer for so long and just recently finally started using it and now I am oh. in love with it. So she finally busted it out. See, it's sort of like getting an old gift again. You bought a gift for yourself and, <laughs> and now you're, it's giving and giving and yes. giving. Yes. Jen Binkley <laughs> said she loves her Pow Power XL Pro Elite. Oh, well, yes. she's fancy. She's got the elite. <laughs> Michelle McVicker loves your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was like $9.99 on Amazon. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong. Uh, <laughs> and then we have uh, Mary Tan here saying hello. Hey, Mary. How you doing? Donna McKinney said hi, y'all. Hey, y'all. I wish I could say y'all, but you can say I'm it. from New Jersey. I don't think it sounds right. Yeah. Hi, y'all. 
Um, Craig Coleman says, Craig from, Craig from AFRTT saying hello. Air Fryer Tips and Talk. Oh, no yeah. way. Welcome. How yeah. you doing? Hi, Craig. Hey, Craig. And, and <laughs> by the way, hey, hello, everybody on Air Fryer Recipes, uh, Air Fryer Recipes Tips and Talk. But also, hi to everybody on YouTube. I know um, we're, we're just getting started on YouTube a couple months ago. So everybody on YouTube, how are you? Thanks for joining. Guess what? We have a special shout out. Paul Manley is here. No, Paul Manley. <laughs> Guess what? Paul Manley is, um, he keeps me walking. <laughs> yeah. Best masseuse in the world. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I have to concur. All right, I want to take another look at these cookies. Oh, yeah, let's do it. It's funny how mummies are cute because it's supposed to not be cute. They're cute. I can't <laughs> do, explain it. Do people think they're cute? Oh, don't forget this guy in here. They can be super cute. I mean, yours are. Well, that's good because not only are they cute, but they're delicious. <laughs> you just love to see I that. do. <laughs> well, you guys, hey, it was fun uh, today. I had a great time. Hopefully, you'll make the mummified meatballs. And uh, listen, if you don't put eyes on them, they're, uh, they're great all year round. I mean, who doesn't want a meatball wrapped in a crescent roll? I mean, come on. Can we go out with our music? Alexa, play the theme song from Monster Mash. <laughs> Um, listen, the every Thursday, the <laughs> you never kickers. get, you never, the Crypt Kickers, you never get sick of this. Every Thursday, four o'clock, be there. Brr.